Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today's lunch is a special lunch for Amavasya. All Amavasyas in the month are important, but the Adi Amavasya, the Amavasya coming in the month of Adi is something more special. It is a lunch where we use certain kind of vegetables, mainly only desi vegetables. That is, we don't use vegetables like cauliflower, carrot, potato, beans and things like that. And also, that definitely it is a no onion, no garlic uh, menu. It is a day when we offer all these as a form of gratitude to our ancestors. Uh, the menu for today's lunch, I have planned this uh, broken wheat, broken samba wheat payasam. Then one uh, pomegranate uh, pachadi, one sweet pachadi, then a puriyal with kirai that is greens, a dry kind of sabji. Raw banana koot, raw banana is very important, has to be included in the menu in some form or the other. So banana that is vayakai, I have shown you different types of uh, puriyals or curries, roast and steamed. Today I am going to show you a koot that is a gravy type of vegetable with it. Uh, bitter gourd pitlai which is somewhat like a sambar and uh, rasam some urad dal vade so first we will begin with the payasam heat a teaspoon of ghee add some broken cashew nuts to it when the cashews turn a light golden color drain it out from the ghee and keep it aside to the same ghee, here I am adding one third cup of this broken wheat. I think it's called dalia or lapsi in Hindi. Fry it well till you get a good aroma. After about two to three minutes, add in one cup of water to this. and allow it to cook well so while we are waiting for our payasam to cook we need not waste time we can start our next recipe that is the raita today i am going to make pomegranate raita so here i have opened up a pomegranate and kept it ready here i have about uh, a cup of curd homemade curd or dahi just beat it well to make it nice and smooth Add a pinch of salt to this and add as much of uh, pomegranate as you like. I have added 2 tablespoons of um, pomegranate. Top it up with a few coriander leaves. So a uh, simple and easy pomegranate thair pachadi is ready. We will keep it aside. See our payasam has absorbed all the water. Now you add a cup of milk. This is boiled and cooled milk. So you can add it directly and allow the wheat rava to cook in the milk also. It will add a good taste. Again we will go on to one more recipe. That is the sweet pachadi. For this I have taken one dry red tomato. Chopped it into pieces. I am adding three of jaggery powder to it and over a low flame cook it together if you don't have jaggery powder you can use sugar also but always I prefer jaggery over sugar as a healthier option allow it to cook well I am just adding a quarter cup of water to this See, meanwhile, our uh, wheat has also cooked well. Now, I am adding jaggery powder. We took one third cup of broken wheat. So, add one third cup of jaggery powder. I will give you the link in the description box. Mix it well. If you are using jaggery, add water. Bring it to a boil. Filter it and then add. Now, just bring it to a boil and we can switch it off. I will switch it off now. I am adding a little bit of cardamom powder. So our tasty wheat rava or godama rava payasam is ready. We will just top it up with our fried cashew nuts. Go to the next recipe that is kirai puriyal. I am taking a spoon of oil. 
Kirai refers to this or Totakura in Telugu. So here I washed and chopped it, cleaned it well, added a spoon of oil, then add some mustard seeds, add some urad dal, one dry red chilli, a little bit of hing powder. the dal is brown add in this chopped greens to it I have taken one bunch of greens now just stir it around see whenever you cook greens in the beginning it will look as if you have a large quantity but on cooking it will reduce considerably Don't add any water while cooking, the greens itself will uh, give out some water and that is enough and this also will get cooked very fast. When it is nearly done, add some salt, don't add too much salt, greens doesn't take much of salt, mix it well and cook it just for a couple of minutes more till it becomes dry and all the water has been absorbed. Side by side, check on the tomato sweet pachidi. See the syrup has thickened, the tomatoes have become nice and soft. Here you can add a few pieces of uh, cashew and also some raisins. Mix everything well together till all the syrup is absorbed. A pinch of cardamom powder. If you have some dates, you can cut the dates also and add. So now this is done and ready. A little bit of multitasking like this, when one is cooking, get ready with another one also. Then your work uh, time will get reduced a lot. Now I will keep this in the serving bowl. Our next item, tomato sweet pachadi, also ready. Coming back to our kira poriyal, see the water has been completely absorbed. I did not add any water for cooking, it just cooked in it, the water from the greens itself. Finally, top it up with some fresh grated coconut and we can switch this off. Give it a good mix and this can also be transferred now to our serving dish. So our kira poriyal is also ready. Next item is Varekai Koot, that is the raw banana koot. For this, just uh, heat some water in a pan. To it, add the peeled and chopped raw banana. As always, keep the chopped banana in water till use. Add a pinch of haldi powder, some salt to taste. I have used only one raw banana here. A little bit of hing powder. Now allow it to cook well till done. Meanwhile I had soaked a small amla that is gooseberry size piece of tamarind in water. We will extract the juice and keep it ready. Now add this little bit of tamarind extract also to it. Add half a teaspoon of homemade sambar powder, a few curry leaves. Just check the vegetable if it is done. It is cooked well. So right in the beginning I had cooked rice and also cooked half a cup of tuvar dal and kept it ready. Because otherwise the video will become very long. So this pre-preparation I had done. So from this cooked tuvar dal, I will just add about a quarter cup of dal to cook it. And again give everything a good mix. When it becomes thick in consistency, we can switch this off. I will transfer this coat to the serving bowl. For seasoning the coat, take a teaspoon of oil. 
add some mustard seeds urad dal and one dry red chilli now pour this on top of this kootu our vaalaikai puli kootu is also ready next we will make parikai pitlai parikai or pavakai refers to bitter goat i have sliced it into pieces like this and kept it ready first we will make a masala for this heat a spoon of oil add about 3 teaspoons of coriander seeds or dhania 1 teaspoon of chana dal half a teaspoon of black pepper 1/4 teaspoon of methi seeds and two dry red chillies fry all these ingredients well till they are well roasted add a few hing crystals i'll give you the link many of you have asked me for this it gives an awesome flavor then finally add about um, 3 tablespoons of fresh grated coconut just stir it for a minute or so now remove this on to a plate and uh, when it comes down to room temperature we can grind it into a paste with the addition of a little bit of water in the same pan i'm just heating a tablespoon of oil and first we'll fry this uh, bitter goat pieces a little bit so that it cooks faster when you make the pitlai add some salt and a little bit of turmeric powder now just keep this aside now i have taken about 1 and 1/2 cups of water in this vessel add this fried bitter goats to it we have already added salt and haldi powder to this no allow it to boil till it is well cooked meanwhile i had soaked a small lemon size piece of tamarind i will extract the juice and uh, keep it ready now last night i had soaked 1 tablespoon of this uh, chana you can take the black or the big kabuli chana and a few ground nuts and i have cooked them see i cooked it and uh, kept it ready when the parika that is when the bitter goat is cooked then we'll add this and also the tamarind juice yeah. the bitter goat has cooked well and become soft now add in this cooked uh, chana and ground nuts and also this tamarind extract to it and allow it to come to a boil see it is boiling well again now i am adding about 1/4 cup of this cooked tuvar dal which we had already kept ready and our ground masala paste also now allow all this to boil once again add a few curry leaves Meanwhile, we can get our tadka or seasoning ready. Heat a teaspoon of oil. Add some mustard seeds and two dry red chillies. See, our pavakai or bitter goat pitle is perfectly done. We can switch it off and just add the seasoning on top. Many of you have asked me about this cookware. This is soap stone cookware. This particular one I got it from Adire. I'll give you the link and the phone number in the description box, and you can buy it from there. So our amazing uh, pavaka pitlay is also ready. This item is rasam. A simple parup rasam is all I'm going to make. So just add one ripe red tomato. one small gooseberry size of tamarind i have soaked in water we'll extract the juice and a pinch of haldi powder some hing crystals salt
and some curry leaves now cook it on a low flame till it comes to a boil add half a teaspoon of sambar powder when it starts boiling add some of this cooked dal to it top it up with more water see our rasam is frothing up well now from all the sides now we can switch this off carefully remove it from the stove for the rasam seasoning as always we do the seasoning with ghee add some fresh coriander leaves on top for seasoning the rasam i have taken a teaspoon of ghee and when it is hot add some mustard seeds and one dry red chili now pour this on top of the rasam Our lovely flavorful rasam is also ready now. Next, we'll make the vada. For this, right in the beginning, before starting any of the cooking, I had soaked one cup of urad dal for about two hours and kept it ready. I ground it in the mixi itself today to show you how we can make good vadas even in the mixi, and grind it into a fine paste without adding any water. Or if required, just add one or two tablespoons of water. That's it. Now we will remove this on a bowl. See our batter is nice, soft and thick, but it is not fluffy. So to make it fluffy, you can use a whisk and beat it well for about 10 minutes. Or to make things simpler, I am just feeling a bit tired, so I am using this electric beater and we will beat it till it becomes nice and fluffy. See how the batter has become nice and fluffy. Now if you say, Amma, I don't have an electric beater. I don't even have a whisk with me. No problem at all. Just use your fingers like this and continuously beat it for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can take the help of others in your house if they are willing to help you. And beat it like that till you get a lovely fluffy batter. Now I am adding some salt to the batter, a little bit of hing powder, grated ginger, curry and coriander leaves. It's about a teaspoon of whole black pepper which I have roughly pounded, coarsely pounded black pepper. Now again mix everything well together. I have kept some oil for deep frying the vadis. Let the oil become nice and hot. You can check the oil by dropping just a small drop of batter into it. See, immediately it rises to the surface. That means the oil is of perfect heat. Now just dip your fingers in some water. I have shown this many times on my channel but for newcomers who have not seen. Just take a small portion of this urad dal batter and make a hole in the center like this and drop it into the oil. Every time wet your fingers, take a portion of this batter, make a hole and gently drop it. Be careful. First the oil should be very hot, then reduce it slightly to medium and then start frying the vadais. When they become red on one side, flip them over and allow it to cook on the other side too. When they become nice golden color and the bubbling also reduces. Lovely what is, drain it out from the oil like this.
a small tip for beginners whenever you are frying vadais don't heat a large quantity of oil because then you will be left with a lot of used oil so just use as much oil as required and if you take a suitably shaped pan then it will be easy to fry the vadais so similarly we will make the vadais with the remaining batter also also don't overcrowd the oil just put in as many as the oil will hold at a time three or four depending on the size of your kadai and the quantity of oil you have put in see this batch is also done See, our vada is all also fried and ready. Lovely, crispy vada is. With uh, one cup of urad dal, you can get approximately twelve vada is. As part of the meal, we also serve some plain dal known as kalathi parappu. The same cooked urad dal which we used for the rasam, the pitlay, kute, and everything. So remaining plain that just add a little bit of salt to taste. Finally, we'll make some fresh mango pickle. I've taken one small raw mango, chopped it into pieces, add some haldi powder, salt. This is methi powder. I've told you earlier also methi seeds. I dry roast powder and keep it ready in a bottle, always like this. A little bit of ink. and some chili powder this chili powder is a bit spicy so i will not use much in some houses they use only the fresh chili powder that is your dry roasted chilies make it a powder and use mix all these ingredients well together now heat about a tablespoon of sesame or til oil for this add a teaspoon of mustard seeds and pour it on top of this pickle mix everything well together and our instant raw mango pickle is ready to be served so our amavasya meal is ready uh, wheat rava payasam pomegranate thair pachadi tomato sweet pachadi keera poriyal paalaka kootu uh, bitter gourd or paarukai pitle परप रसम वड़े कलत परप एंड रॉ मैंगो पिकल अफकोर्स वी आर मेड रई सेपरेटली एंड वील सर्व इट अलॉंग वित् कर्ड टू द मील इज सर्व ऑन ए बनाना लीफ वित् द टिप टू द पर्सन लेफ्ट स्प्रिंकल सम वाटर ऑन द लीफ एंड वाइप इट क्लीन start by serving out the payasam odama rava payasam pomegranate raita see there is a specific place designated for each item that's how we serve it in that order tomato sweet pachadi keera poriyal vaalaka kootu kalathu paruppu pickle is served at the top left vadai rice ghee this is the parika pitle i have served rasam in this cup because first course we mix the dal with the rice and have it along with this uh, bitter gourd pitle then in the second course we mix rice with rasam that's why i have kept it separately some extra payasam to be had after rasam rice and finally end with curd a few tips if you are managing alone uh, remember to soak the chana overnight then in the morning first thing soak the urad dal for your uh, vadai then chop all the vegetables and keep it ready 
and then you can proceed i have shown you sometimes doing one or two other recipes side by side so that your time is also saved you can try out this recipe personally i feel the simplest recipes are the tastiest for example this uh, kirai poriyal kirai means the one which i made with uh, simple greens not much of masala uh, it's one of my personal favorites i just like to mix it with hot rice and have very tasty very nutritious too so you can try out this meal anytime or you can try out one recipe at a time till you make sure of how to do it thank you for watching the video please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting video from geeta's kitchen thank you